Yeah, again a very good question this one. Look at this question, guys. A natural number n which has which is not a perfect cube has exactly four factors. The sum of the positive factors of n that are less than n is twenty fourteen. Find the sum of digits of n. Okay. So natural number n which is not a perfect cube has exactly four factors. Okay. Now understand this, guys. Any natural number has got four factors. How do you write this? We know this, right? We studied this, right? So what is four factor means? What it should be in the form of what could be p cube, any prime number cube, because what is power factor is power plus one. So what is fact power factor minus one, number of factor minus one, okay? Or it could be if I want to break in two parts, like four into four as two into two. Basically, basically I'm trying to split into two prime numbers here, p one and p two, okay? So p one raised to one and p two raised to one because p one has factor two, so power one. P two has factor two, so power one, right? But it says that it is not a perfect cube, right? That means this is not the case actually. Okay, that means this case I'm going forward here. Okay, now tell me, guys. That means n is equal to something p one into p two form. Okay, if n is equal to p one into p two form, how many factors it is? How many factor it has? It has like factor like it has factors here. It has factors like one, then p one, then p two, and then p one p two, right? For example, you can take an example. You can take example of six here, right? If n is equal to six, that means what is six here? Two into three. P one into P two. How many factors are six? One will be that first will be one, then one will be other prime number that is two, then the other prime number three, and then combined is six. That is P one into P two, right? So that's what I'm writing here. That any number is of the form P one P two. Its factors are what? Its factors are n is equal to six. Ah, huh. and then n is equal to p one and p two. Uh, one p one p one. Ah, uh, sorry, one p one p two p one p two here. Okay, fine. Now it's it says that it says that actually, uh, the sum of positive factors of n that are less than n is twenty fourteen. Okay, so sum of positive factors of n right that are less than n. So how many this actually this p one p two is n only no? This p one p two is a factor of n that is n only right? That means sum of positive factors of n that are less than n. How many factors are less than n? One p one and p two. So should I write one plus p one plus p two is equal to twenty fourteen? Right. That means p one plus p two should be equal to twenty thirteen. If p one plus p two is equal to twenty thirteen, so I know that sum of two prime numbers is twenty thirteen. Right. Now quite a quite a hint here. Right. Because sum of two prime numbers is an odd number. If sum of two prime numbers is an odd number, so or there there is only one even prime that is two. So only one even prime is two. That means the one number has to be two here, right? Then only I'll get sum of two prime numbers as odd number. Otherwise, if one number is not not two here, I will never get this sum as two here. Actually, fine. That means sum of two prime numbers because prime numbers are generally odd. Odd plus odd is even, right? So now if a prime number is even, so p one is two. That other p two is ah twenty eleven, right? Even plus odd is odd. Okay, that means what I needed to find here. So value of n. What is the value of n, guys? N is p one into p two. What is p one into p two? I got p one as two and p two as twenty eleven, right? And I I know that what you must be thinking that this two was zero one in the prime number, right? The so question is set like that, no? Okay, it must be a prime number, right? We don't need to check it also. Okay, that is four zero two two. So what is the question? Sum of digit as uh, digits of n. So n. Four plus zero plus two plus two, that is equal to six. That's the answer, right? And also, also this combat, guys. Okay, so this uh, combat, uh, you know, it's a very good test series. It contains some good high quality questions. Okay, so the easy questions are are not asked here. So it basically it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts. Okay, and. Uh, Uh, this from this sunday onwards it is in basically revised format so basically we are mo moving closer to cat right now so in january february and march we were like away uh, we are around 8 to 10 months away from cat so the questions we put off may be some uh, easier or medium level right but this from now onwards the questions will be of higher higher level okay and uh, all the lrd sets also um this quant questions also and basically it's a fun it's fun right actually giving this is a fun because after every question you get to get to get to get your live ranking okay then uh, after every question 
the faster you answer the better your the better your rank is right you get more points so actually those one hour test is a fun and actually if you look at the cat you should give a uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and test before cat okay and this one of your high quality tests absolutely free of cost and uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this i think okay so rank 1 to 3 one year subscription i think around 20000 or 75% scholarship or 50% to so sir great prizes are on offer here okay so get it live from your mobile app you just put in a uh, link here i'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here ravi roda it ask you for invite code it is absolutely absolutely free of cost okay ask you for invite code put ravi roda and the link i'll put in description just enroll from there okay and do give this every sunday do give this at 12 pm it's on every sunday okay so every sunday give this on 12 pm thank you